Do you face this issue where your toilet floor drain started to have sewage smell? Now this video, I will show you how to overcome this stinky shower. Now this is actually a floor trap insert. The main intention was designed to prevent odor from coming out. Now I'm pouring water into it to test if there's a leakage. Now the water level is so low and it takes so long to fill up. Definitely there is a leakage in this floor trap. So I'm going to show you how to overcome it so that you do not have a stinky floor drain after this. Now this S3 insert, it's meant to prevent any odor coming out from your sewage pipe. So you see there are sand particle trap, maybe caused by the construction or perhaps there's some cement stain onto the side wall of this pipe sleeve. Now this pipe sleeve is relatively larger so that it can accommodate this trap or bottle trap. So what I need to do now is actually to use a long screwdriver to actually push all the cement stain. The clean one, as you can see in this picture, in picture video, supposed to be clean. You do not want to have any, any cement trap in between the sleeve. So we use a brush with an electric drill. So it's clean now, isn't it? The main idea is you don't want to have any cement stain stain on it. Then I'm going to use water to spray off the sand so that the sand do not trap in between the black color seal with the lower part of this pipe stick. Okay, and uh, you may want to use a brush to clean off the surface of this insert. The main idea is to prevent any leakage of the smell from the sewage pipe. So get a brush, brush it clean, make sure there's no particle, there's no cement stain, stain onto this black color seal. And when it sits into the base of this pipe sleeve later, you got to make sure there are no more cement stain. So I'm going to wash it clean and clean up again. Probably I want to add some water anyway. I find that maybe water is more effective. So I'm washing the water and then at the same time, I will have a drill and the brush. The main idea is actually to patch off, mechanically meshing to remove this cement stain from the inner wall, especially where the seal will be seated at. You see it's now clean. As long as it's white clean, then I'm satisfied. If I'm not satisfied, I'm clean it again a few rounds. Oh, oh okay, it comes off. Good. Be careful. If you do not have a drill and an extension for a brush, then you can actually use this to clean it. You can find it in a toilet. Make sure the rod is long enough. I, I am satisfied now. Okay, that's what I can do, right? So I've cleaned up the insert. Make sure it fits on one side. Push it in. You may lock it or not. Make sure it sits properly. The reason why they have a locking system is actually to prevent any perhaps snake or mouse from pushing upwards, right? So I want to lock it so that I've got to be certain, I'm sure that I've actually inserted properly. Once I'm satisfied, fill in water, you can check the water level. The correct proper way is that the water level you can see, it will fill towards the brim of this trap insert. There, you can see the light diffraction, isn't it? Towards the brim of this S3 trap. Now this product, I bought it, um, it's actually by San Cisco. This is not a sponsor video, I just want to share you how to overcome this problem. Okay. So this is another hole where I want to prevent stinky floor drain from my uh, bathroom. And this sewage smell comes whenever after the drain is being used. So the main idea is to remove the cement stain caused by the construction and sand my trap there. If you do not have a drill, just use the brush, the toilet brush, with some water, push it up and down, up and in and out, up and down, left and right. You make sure to remove any particle, sand particle trapped in that particular globe where the black color seal sit onto, right? So since I'm washing it, I might as well clean off the other cement stain at the surrounding, okay? But it does not affect the operation 
and it doesn't look good, isn't it? So I might as well see it. Use a long screwdriver to tap on it. Do not spoil it. It's plastic. You do not want to apply too much of force. Just tapping to remove the cement stain. Okay, that's the main idea. When it's white color, as you can see, you can use a brush, brush it in and out, push it in and out. The main intention is to remove any sand trap caused by, I mean, the construction perhaps, when they wash their tools, they didn't realize that the sand might get trapped here. Probably they're not aware there is an S3 trap. So once you've done, insert it properly, lock it, and then pour water to it. Now, this is a correct water level. Now, if you check yours, and the water level is not this high, then there is a leakage. The water has to be maintained at this level to prevent the sewage smell coming out from this sewage pipe. Now, this is another hole which I've cleaned up. See, white color now, right? The, the, the ring with, with a notch by the side, okay? Every 90 degrees. So it sits into it and it fits only one side. You do not need to lock it if you do not want it. It's okay because it's very difficult to remove later, isn't it? The uh, locking mechanism is actually prevent any mouse or uh, perhaps snake from coming out from here, okay? But I want to lock it so that I know I have indeed installed this trap properly. Last step is always pour water into it to check if the water level rise up to the rim of this S3 trap by San Francisco. I and mean, again, this is not a sponsor video and I welcome any sponsor to sponsor my video and I don't mind to test out your product if it's a good product. I will even buy it and test it out and let my audience know about it. Right? So I think the water level, you can see, it's at the brim of it and the water level does not go down any further, meaning there's no leakage at all. So no more stinky shower, no more stinky floor trap from my toilet. Right? And then you can close the cover and that's all from me. Thank you for watching. First time watching, remember to subscribe to my channel. 